We're just hours away from Valentine's Day, and doctors in the capital region are seeing a rise in broken hearts, and it's most likely tied to the pandemic. How much of an increase are we talking about, and what you should be on the lookout for? I sat down with a well known cardiologist to talk about it. Don't tell my heart. In the words of Billy Ray Cyrus, the heart has a mind of its own. And a broken heart is a powerful thing and potentially dangerous. And lately, Dr. Donna Phelan with Capital Cardiology Associates in Albany is seeing more of it. It happens surprisingly much more commonly than people recognize. In layman's terms, it's called broken heart syndrome. The medical term for it typically is Takasubo cardiomyopathy. The name comes from the octopus traps in Japan. The shape of those traps is similar to the shape that develops in the heart. It looks like an upside down balloon. It's caused by a sudden stress of some sort, like having your heart broken. So you almost have to be cardiologist slash therapist in these situations. In these situations and in others, absolutely. Symptoms of broken heart syndrome are similar to those of a heart attack, chest discomfort, difficulty breathing, profuse sweating, fainting spells. How serious can this be? It can be very serious. The majority of patients survive. The treatment is medication, and with medication and with time, the heart heals. Since the pandemic, Dr. Phelan says she and the more than 30 other doctors at Capital Cardiology see on average one patient a month with broken heart syndrome. I would say prior to that, it was probably half of that. Wow. You had mentioned this happens more in women than men. Why is that? I think that's a great question that we may not know the answer to yet. Some would argue that's because we have more gentle hearts that can be broken more readily. Dr. Phelan says if you've gone through something serious in your life, if you have any of those symptoms, contact your doctor immediately.